Hi there, and thanks for joining us uh, during this AEC Assessment Compass training series. I want to give you just a quick overview of what you can expect from this series and why this series is a bit different probably than other classes that you've taken on this topic. We'll also go through our materials a little bit, make sure that you're oriented and know exactly where to find all of the wonderful resources that are included in this course. So, as the title uh, tells you, the AAC Assessment Compass is a compass and that means it's a framework. So this is not a cookie cutter, cookbook approach by any means, but it's a framework that you can use to approach making decisions about AAC tools and strategies for the students that are already on your caseload or who may come to you for AAC services down the line. Although this is not a course that's meant to give you uh, the title of AAC Assessment Expert by any means, we know that mentoring um, and years of experience working with this population is really gonna help you feel more comfortable. This course is a great starting point to help you navigate those tricky situations that likely you have to handle anyway. There probably isn't an AAC expert in your pocket, in your school district or otherwise to help you with these cases. So you know that you wanna feel more comfortable and more confident to do the work that you're being asked to do every day. So the first part of our course is gonna tackle functional communication assessment. And what that means is you're going to learn how to modify what you're already doing to assess speech and language and communication skills to account for the unique needs of children who have complex bodies, complex vision, complex sensory profiles, etc. In that course, you're going to learn about areas to assess and also ways to assess those areas, whether you're on site with the child or over a teletherapy platform. A little subset of that part of the course is going to teach you how to screen for vision and motor access needs. We're going to spend a lot of time in this training talking about AAC features, but focusing really on helping you make decisions for touch screen or touch users. We realize that this class, even though it is super comprehensive, does not have the scope to help you understand how to ex uh, attack access for every type of AAC user. We also recognize that being a part of an AAC team is essential for getting the access piece right for these kids with complex bodies and complex vision. So our AAC access screening portion of the course will give you some screening tools and some screening tips to help you figure out whether or not a particular child can be a touchscreen user in the short term or in the long term um, and give you resources for ongoing learning and development and how to work with your team to figure out how to support those kids who may need more attention to their access. Moving on to part two of the class, we're going to talk about what AEC system features are and what exactly the feature matching process is. We're going to walk through how to match all of those skills and needs that you identified in your functional communication assessment to the features that are available and the tools that have those features currently available on the market. You'll learn a little bit about feature classes so that you can have the language that you need to approach your own research on what tools have those features that you need for your communicators. You're gonna to get tons of resources on AEC features, tons of resources on how to analyze apps and dedicated communication devices with a little bit more of a feature matching eye. Moving from feature matching, we're gonna talk about system design, which also is system customization. So once you get those system features on your list that match the skills and needs, you're gonna to need to do some basic customization for the systems that you wanna try with your students. And so that part of the class is really gonna walk you through the idea of when do I have to customize? When should I consider customizing? And how do I do so? Where do I find the resources that I need to customize? Then we'll move on to the final part of the class, which really talks about how to bring it all together, moving from your assessment through your feature matching into making some decisions for uh, devices to trial. In the trial lecture, you're gonna learn a lot about how to set up your trials, how to execute your trials, the rationale behind the trial period with AAC devices, and also how to collect data so that you can better serve your report writing function and also better serve your decision making. 
We'll talk a little bit at the end of the series about how to take all of the information you've gained in your AAC assessment and compose a report that informs your team and also helps you write the durable medical equipment recommendations that you'll need to get equipment paid for by an insurance provider or another private pay source or third-party pay source. So in this whole training, you will have some essential um, materials that you'll want to refer to. The first, the first material that's available to you here in the classroom is the AAC Assessment Compass Field Guide. So this is in essence an ebook or an e-textbook that you will have available to you within the course platform. You can only use it within the course platform, but if you wanna use it outside of that platform, you can go to our website and download it from our store. Within the class platform, however, you're gonna be able to access your field guide, which has tons of information on the framework that you'll learn in the class, how to translate that framework into a session timeline. So when will I do these different activities in my AAC assessment sessions? And also all of these resources will be linked regarding chart review and assessment practices and tools for assessment and feature matching spreadsheets and all of that wonderful stuff that you're gonna need when you get out there into the field and start doing some of this work. In your AAC uh, Assessment Compass Field Guide, you're also going to have a template of the AAC Assessment Compass Checklist. This checklist is something we're gonna use throughout the course to go over a case study so that you can apply some of the learning that you're that you're having in court in class to a realistic case study. We're also going to use this compass checklist to help you think about how you're going to plan and execute your own AAC assessment sessions. So you get a template in your field guide. You can also have access to an editable template on our website. The last thing you're gonna have available to you when you take this series is the slide handouts. You will have all of the handouts available to you for every class right in the classroom platform. These will be PDF versions of the handouts or slideshare versions of the handouts that you can use to follow along with me during class and also print out so that you can take notes. All right, so we've gone through a little bit of the overview of the series. I hope you'll find all of your materials that you need. I also wanna remind you that we do have an online classroom community. So although you can certainly ask questions to me as your instructor, I highly encourage that you reach out through the classroom community to ask questions and start conversations as you're learning. Chances are, if you have that question, someone else in the learning community has it as well, and they really benefit from you asking your question openly and seeing all of the responses, not only from me as your instructor, but from others in the community who have experience to bring to the table. You can find all of the information about accessing the learning community here in your classroom platform as well. So I think that's all for the nuts and bolts business and housekeeping stuff. Now let's go on to the learning.